Hi guys, Steph here. So as promised and requested, um, someone had wanted some ideas on how to use <coughs> um, Polaroid stamp. And the only one I have right now is uh, the Lawn Fawn one from Say Cheese. Um, and this is what it looks like stamped out. And you can stamp it on white, you can stamp it on pattern paper or whatever. So I'm just going to go down the list of ideas that I wrote down. Um, one would be a growing sequence. So you would stamp out um, several of the Polaroids. And then in one you would put maybe a picture of you pregnant, the next one newborn baby, next one infant, next one toddler, next one small boy, next one graduation, whatever sequence or you could do a plant doing that you could do you know an animal so my first idea is a growing sequence next one is um actually the idea i got from lawn fun and what you would do is you would stamp this three times the first one you would just distress in vintage photo and black soot and just kind of black it out the next one you would stamp your scene into it whether you you know put one of your uh, greeting farm stamps, let's say, in there, or a couple of little critters in there. Um, you would stamp that out, and then you would distress it with vintage photo and tea dye and a little bit of black soot on the edges. So you want to see it, but just barely see it. Um, and then the last one, you would stamp your same scene exactly the same, and then just put a little bit of like antique linen in the middle and then a little bit of vintage photo on the edges and it looks like your Polaroid is developing on the card or the layout. So that's number two. Number three is build a scene. So you could take, um, here, here's my new one here. You could take, um, let's say, the princess and the frog um, and put them in one and you could just do that and have it on the card and put your sentiment happily ever after on the bottom or you could do that and then in the next one do a princess and um, a prince you know what I mean so that it looks like she kissed the frog turned into a prince um, so you know you can have whatever there and put your sentiment on the bottom or you can also, like I did in this, use it as a frame for your sentiment. Like this card, which I showed, you know, there's a camera here. So I use the Polaroid and I put the sentiment in there. Um, so that's the next one. And then the next one is a um, really fun idea. You would stamp them out side by side and you would line it up to the lines which, let me stamp it and show you what I mean. Not the best stamping technique, but I'm hurrying up so I can do this in one video. So you'd line it up, line to line there. And then what you would do is you would stamp that a bunch of times lining up at the line there and then you would cut it out and just go in a tiny bit on the top and bottom and leave the rest alone and then score it in an accordion fold and you can make a little Polaroid brag book or mini album out of that shape which is really adorable and cute um, so all you have to do is stamp it side by side lining up that you know, put a little notch on top and bottom, and then accordion fold it, and you have a brag book or a mini album. <coughs> um, next one would be um, putting, you know, on one card or layout uh, several Polaroids, and in each one having a different character. Um, from the scene and then the center one having all of them together You can use it for your as a photo of your um, Girl stamps like Marcy from La La Land or the greeting farm um, 
what's really pretty in these is building a holiday scene like for Christmas you would put snow and hills and a tree and then a deer or you know Christmas tree and lights or for Halloween you could put um, like a dark background and a haunted house and bats and stuff like that and you can easily build a scene inside of it for each holiday slap it on a card and you're done so um you know i'll try and think up more ideas but hopefully this helps my favorite idea um is my top two that i love are building the holiday scenes and also lining it up and making a mini album out of them so those are my top ones but I'd love to hear more ideas from other people, and I hope this helps um, give you some ideas, hon. All right, thanks for watching. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I forgot in my last video of the hauls. I had gotten this in the mail today. I had sold a few things, and I got this on the scrapyard uber cheap, and I've been wanting it. It's the McGill Punch, and um, you just get this little... I did not do it fancy, I just did it fast and sloppy. You get this little pocket, which is, I've been wanting a little pocket. Next, I'm in search. I've been dying for the little envelope punch. I want that so bad. But anyway, I got this, and um, I saw on the package that it cost her almost $6 to ship. So she did not make much, because I want to say I... I bought it for eight or nine. So thank you so much, hon. I love my punch. And that's it, I swear. I'm done now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.